everything is a failure in the middle. Anything we're doing, no matter how well it's going, we can expect it to feel disappointing, not be working well, get stalled somewhere along the line. You see, what is sustained in a sustainable community is not economic growth or development or competitive advantage. What is sustained is the web of life on which our long-term survival depends. In other words, a sustainable community is designed in such a way that its ways of life, its technologies and its social institutions honor, support and cooperate with nature's inherent ability to sustain life. Philosophically, I would say uh, it's critical for businesses to realize that they are part of the society and part of the community, and that they are essentially neighbors. Uh, business tends to look at itself as a separate entity whose job is simply to make as much money as it can without seeing itself as having any responsibilities to the society. Uh, financial self-interest, and I don't think that works, particularly at a time when business is really the most powerful force in our society. Business needs to see itself as a neighbor, uh, you know, a wealthy neighbor but a neighbor that needs to look out for uh, social problems and environmental problems. Climate change is accelerating. The melting of the polar ice caps is exceeding predictions that even came from a year or two ago. Within 30 years, 25% of all species will be extinct. Our civilization, as we've constructed it, is completely unsustainable. People say to me, I wonder what it would be like to be on a spaceship. And I say to you, you don't really realize what you're doing. Because everybody is an astronaut. You all live aboard a beautiful little spaceship called Earth. I think that with some kind of final examination as to whether human beings are qualified to, to take on the responsibility we're designed to be entrusted with. And this is not a matter of examination of the types of governments, nothing to do with politics, nothing to do with the economic system. It's to do with the individual. Does the individual have the courage to really go along with the truth?
15 corporations would like to control the conditions of our life. And millions of people are saying, not only do we not need you, we can do it better. We are going to create systems that nourish the earth and nourish human beings. And these are not marginal experiments. They are the mainstay of large numbers of communities across the world. That is where the future lies.